are animals, no? The higher, the highest, uh, highest form uh, contains protein filaments of actin and magnesium. Later, you will see what are these two that slides past one another, producing contraction that changes the length and the shape of the muscle cell. The muscle function is to produce force and motion. So yung, yung force, mag, magtapon ko ng bola, ito yung kanyang halakas na talaga ang muscles produces force. Okay, so this is an animation of your muscles. Your muscles is not, is not just a one sheet covered underneath your skin, but it is layered, naka-layer ko siya. Okay, this is the top tissues. Okay, this is the Lacetimus dorsi there. Okay, and then these are the um, muscles that are attached to your ribs. Okay, this is your deltoid, your triceps. Okay, so these are layered muscles. Now, in the smallest particle of the muscles is called the muscle fiber. Yan. Okay, at ito sila si protein. Yung sinasabi na protein si malisin at saka si active animated to like this. It is a bundle. Nakabundle niya sila. Ay isang bundle ng isang uh, muscle fiber. And in each muscle fiber lies the motor uh, motor neuron. Okay, the motor neuron that is connected to the brain. This is the one that receives the signal from the brain. Okay, from your brain. Okay, for it to contract. So every time your muscles are contracting, the the brain is also doing its part. So every time you move, your brain is coordinating everything. Okay? So that's how, that is why uh, your, 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 when you're moving, a movement is also a brain movement. So even when you're talking, no, it's, it's the brain works also. Okay, so that's, that's just the anatomy of the muscle so that you will understand how it's very, how it is inside the muscles. Probably some of you have seen this in your books, in the videos, but this is just to, to augment the discussions of your understanding of the strength exercises. Because this is where uh, this, itong mga muscle fiber na ito ang dadami or dadaba 